Good afternoon, Ken Sachs here, Coal Banker Northwest Group. Spokane just got its real estate figures for uh, June 2010. A couple great things going on. First, we've had the ninth consecutive month, June 2010 is the ninth consecutive month, we've had an increase in sales versus the same month, 2009. Additionally, year to date, now that we're six months into the year, we've had 24.5% more sales first half of this year versus last year. Uh, interest rates, interest rates, a 50 year low on the 30 year interest rates. So some exciting things going on. Uh, and then I hear, here in our newspaper Friday, I don't know if you can see this, big headline, home sales in the doldrums. And if you can see, it was taken from the Philadelphia Inquirer. And what they're talking about in this article is a woman trying to sell her condominium in Philadelphia for $950,000 and she's having a hard time selling it. So then our spokesman paper comes out and says, home sales are in the doldrums. You know, let's see, tomorrow's Monday morning. I'm gonna check the Philadelphia weather before I get dressed to see what the weather's going to be like in Spokane. I don't know what sense that makes. That's just creating this, this, public, uh, this public panic. But real estate, we're on the move. And our sales are up, interest rates are down, our inventory's good, now's a great time. Now, I've had a few questions this week about the extension of the first time home buyer's tax credit. Let me make this clear. You still had to have been signed up by April 30th. All they did was extend the close date. So the close date went from June 30th to September 30th. But if you weren't signed up by April 30th, it's no good. But those folks that got signed up by April 30th but aren't able to or were not able to close by June 30th, they now have until September 30th. So that's the explanation on that. Ken Sachs, Coal Banker Northwest Group, home of the free handyman for life.